for having me here. And uh, actually, it's even a longer trip for me than it used to be, as I, I recently moved to California to uh, actually for my new uh, <laughs> job at Creative Commons. So I'm uh, slightly more jet lagged than uh, than usual, I think. But uh, it's been a real privilege for me to work with the Wikimedia Foundation. Uh, I've been involved with the projects on some level for at least uh, most of the past ten years, and. Uh, just watching it grow from the small uh, ambitious project it was to the great mature project it is and is becoming has uh, really shaped the way I think about the world and the way I think about my profession. So there are probably ways you can identify early what someone's calling is going to be, but some cases are easier than others. Before Wikipedia was at everyone's fingertips, uh, all kids used to say they needed to go to the library as a way of getting out of the house for a while. Unlike many of my classmates, I really was going to the library. <laughs> I probably spent more time there than at home, but as I got older, I started to notice the boundaries of the library. The more a certain topic became more interesting to me, the more detail I wanted to get into, and the less likely anything would be available without lots of time and effort. More knowledge about how to find things than I had at the time, unless I was really determined what the local library had was all that I could find. So when I heard about a website that basically promised to be a library that never ended, and not only that, that I could help to build it. I'm not sure I could have resisted, and I didn't. But the more we're connected to the world and to each other, the more we're all building the library that never ends. When I got involved with Wikipedia almost 10 years ago, a lot of the basics were still undone. Even a group of people without much clear direction could come together and do something tremendously useful just by doing something. While there are still improvements to be made that way, the easy part of building Wikipedia is over. As a project, we spent a long time focusing on the ways we were unique in the world. Now the next step is to reach out to others and figure out how, how we're the same. I spent a little time before this conference looking at the mission and vision statements of some of the institutions who are here today. A thing that will strike you if you do this is that we're all striving toward the same ideas. Some of the things people have said is leading and collaborating and growing the world's knowledge base, not Wikipedia, strangely enough. Uh, freely sharing in the sum of all knowledge, that's ours. Linking individuals with art and history. And shaping the future by sharing resources with the world. We all recognize that making knowledge and culture available, keeping it available, and presenting it in ways that are useful to people searching for it is so important that we're all spending our lives on it. And that's a powerful commonality. One of the things that really attracted me to Wikipedia is the idea that knowledge and culture is so important that it belongs to everyone and that figuring out how to collect, preserve, and manage it is such a challenge that we need everyone to do it. The model we have has tremendous strengths. With the people and processes that we already have, we've built a public resource that has become one of the most popular sites on the web. If you said in 2000 that a nonprofit encyclopedia would be a top five website, I'm not sure anyone would have believed you. And if you said it would be completely free to access and reuse, and that people were using it for everything, for laptops for children in developing countries, text for free college classes, guidance to museum exhibits, and quiz show expert robots, enabled because it was so easy to use and reuse, you might have been sent to the madhouse. Now knowledge is available at one click, but the easier it is to get information, the more important it is that good information is easy to get. It has to compete. The more ubiquitous Wikipedia is, the more important it is that it reflects the world's knowledge accurately and helps people find their next step. Wikipedia is a great place to start research and a terrible place to end it. As we build connections between the institutions dedicated to collecting and spreading knowledge, we're all able to fulfill our shared goals by helping people find those paths and then helping them find where next to go. We've made a big deal about the gender gap at Wikimedia recently. In case you haven't seen the numbers, somewhere between 75 and 90% of project participants are men which means that systematically, we're not getting the topics and perspectives more likely to be held by women. Gender is a focus for us because it's one of the easiest things to identify. What's harder to identify is what other perspectives are being systematically not represented. But there are a few other biases we know that we have. We know we're biased toward the wealthy Western world, toward subjects that, are, uh, that technically inclined people like, and we're biased toward things that are already available on the internet. But fortunately, native Wikipedians aren't the only people in the world trying to tackle this problem. Those of you in cultural institutions already have some of the answers we're looking for to help fulfill our mission of making the world's knowledge freely available. And by working with you to connect the knowledge and resources of your institutions with ours, I hope we're also fulfilling your mission.
I'm delighted to be here at this conference today and to welcome you all to what looks like a fantastic program. These events are useful for building a common understanding. The GlamWiki conference really is a meeting of cultures. And one of the most valuable things to come out of these events is to recognize and embrace the best parts of each other's cultures and use them to help each other accomplish those shared goals. The range of sessions coming up over the next few days highlights how much work goes into building these systems to support this mission that we all share. The legal and technical infrastructure, measuring the impact of our projects, working with the resources each kind of institution has available and the constraints each one faces. I look forward to learning about all of the projects and challenges and solutions of this community in the next few days. And I look forward to working with all of you in the coming years for our shared mission. So thank you very much.